Hello, my name is Graham Simpson. I'm wanting to demonstrate to you how to use a basic Nikon camera for macro photography that's inexpensive and yet will produce quality results. Now today I have the Nikon D3200 with the standard 18 to 55mm lens, a 12mm extension tube, a basic flash. And also in the kit, I decided that it would be useful to show you an extension reflector that can create light further closer to the edge of the subject and the lens. Um, it has a band that can easily clip over the flash. In fact, I'll attach it to the camera now that uh, makes it effectively in place. Or one can use a soft box. Now, and on eBay, uh, these can all be purchased uh, relatively cheap and other suppliers. And this is a series of extension tubes. They have autofocus uh, connections uh, here, the pins. So that's, that's a necessity. And we have the 20mm, the 36mm and the 12mm already on the Nikon D3200. This is principally to allow auto-focusing because a lot of people have problems uh, using their camera and focusing manually. Whereas you should be able to use this method effectively by simply uh, using the auto-focus system and maybe the TTL system, but you could put the flash on uh, to manual in the process. And in part two of our series, we will go out and show you this. So I'll go through this once more to say that this is an effective way with the extension tube to get close enough to photograph a flower, a bee on a flower, but now to get very close if you wanted to photograph ants. I have found a very useful uh, macro lens of high quality, Japanese made. Uh, it's by Raynox, R-A-Y-N-O-X, and it's also sold on eBay. The It is the DR, or I should say the DCR250. It's a very good uh, lens in the, that it has a housing. It screws into the housing and the housing can fit any lens. So I'm going to take it off and show you. There it is. It's a high quality lens. It allows you to get very close to the subject. And so I'm going to screw it back in. And one of the useful things about this uh, lens is that it can clip on any sized uh, lens, uh, main lens, and therefore um, has practical use. So you can photograph your ant close up with this a close-up lens and get reasonable quality, then you can simply take it off and then photograph maybe the ant on the whole flower uh, or, or whatever subject you are photographing. So it's a, that, it's a nice application to come off and on. It's When you're out in the field, it's useful when you have these accessories to have a pocket to put the items in because uh, they can easily, uh, being small, you could easily lose them in the field and uh, that's just an extra tip. Now, with that particular close-up lens of the, uh, the Raynox one, it comes in a nice plastic container here. It has uh, caps for the lens part and um, effectively uh, it is genuinely a, an affordable lens at $70 approximately on eBay. The extension tubes may come individually on or sold as a set. The set would be around about $50 to $70, but there may be uh, the possibility to buy a used one that's 12 mil. That would be a good one to start with. And I think in general, it will effectively help you to carry out macro photography. You'll simply go out point and shoot at the subject and it should focus and be sharp and I think you'll get the results that you've been wanting for some time. So we're going to go to the Patuxent in the part two, take a photograph maybe of an insect or whatever we find, maybe ants too, which are very small 
and show you the results. Thank you for watching. Hello, my name is Graham Simpson. Today I'm carrying out in the Patuxent the use of a standard 55 18mm zoom lens kit with the Nikon D3200, an extension 12mm autofocus extension tube for macro photography, an inexpensive way to photograph items or little creatures close up. In this case we have uh, four or five ants and the flash, the simple flash is set at uh, TTL, has a little diffuser um, set at F16 and again we will just get close in with the lens set at 55mm and there we are. It's as simple as that. The autofocus takes place and we can get a reasonable quality image. Now, if one wants to just photograph an ant by itself, there are many products on the market. And today, in my pocket, I have, of course, the Raynox uh, microscopic lens. Uh, it has this lovely device to attach to uh, any lens, uh, variable springs, and again we've just placed it on uh, and set at 55mm the lens, f16, TTL and we're going to try and photograph an ant. So here we go. And there we are, focusing with autofocus, uh, a simple effective method turning the standard lens into a macro lens and getting reasonable quality and that will be shown at the end of the video. Now, it's always good to have a pocket free to put small items in, especially like this Raynox macro lens that comes on eBay for $70. And again, this flash, it's on the market for approximately uh, $70 and a $5 reflector. So additions to the Nikon D3200 that's at reasonable price. So I'll just put this uh, lens in my pocket again. I'll set the flash to manual and it can be at uh, full power and now I will try uh, using the autofocus system on manual and again coming in taking a photograph and there we are. Uh, at least I've got three or four amps in the image. Now by stopping down with your f-stop after f16 and just balancing your light on the subject you will get a better depth of field and you will slowly achieve even better results. So the photographs I've taken today, I, as you can see, I've spent very little time in photographing the, the ants, but you will see the results. And I'm very impressed with this Nikon D3200. Uh, again, the D Nikon D3100, the D5000, all these models are very good for basic cameras and with their standard DX 55mm lens there's you know you can achieve some really good results so I hope this helps you in a method of doing macro photography in an inexpensive way and uh, I hope you look forward to seeing the results thank you